Thanks for checking out Cars, Shops, and Collections. If you haven't subscribed yet, right down below, just click that subscribe button and I would appreciate it. Today's episode, we're gonna go see Shane, and Shane is the man behind Garage Mahal. We're talking 20 classic cars under one roof, one house. You're in for a treat today. I hope this is the right house. Like right, yeah. I don't, I don't got a big check though. <laughs> Shane, hey, JC, how are you, buddy? Hey, some doggies. Hi, doggies. Hey, doggies. get them, get them, get them. How are you, man? Nice to meet you. Shane, thanks for having us. And no problem. Uh, we're going to go see what I've been told is Garage Mahal. Yes. How many cars do you have in Garage Mahal? 18. 18 cars. I love yes. it. All right, this is, I can see some stuff here from the corner. This is spectacular. Lance, let's spin around and take our first look at. We have two cars here. Yeah, so this is a 66 Nova. <laughs> okay. Sorry for the dust, the wind's been No, blown. it's a windy day, but I'm peeking through, I'm peeking through, I'm peeking through, I'm seeing, I'm seeing more and more cars back here. Okay, exactly. we got it. what do we have here? It's a 66 Super Sport Nova. Uh -huh. uh, built it for my wife. Uh, it's got a 327, took the power glide out, put a 600 behind it. So it's got an overdrive transmission. Fuel injected, um, it's got a Elderbrock system in it. So it gets up and goes pretty good. Where did your love for cars come from? When I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. So my grandfather lived on a farm in Missouri. Uh -huh. And he's like, okay, what do you want for a first car? So I found a 70 Fastback Mustang. I said, this is what I want. So we bought it and it was my job to rebuild it mm -hmm. and get it going for when I turned 16. So that's what I did. And that's how it happened, huh? And that's how it happened. Over your shoulder. This yes. one, has, this is the one that was on counting cars? Yes, Danny built this. I had to build it for my wife. She's a school teacher here in town. So this is one he built. And what's the color? Like you come around here. I thought it was black, but then I come around here, the blue, yeah. it just pops at you. It's called nautical blue. All right. This they, is, was that 1950? 1950. 1950. Yep, they did a fabulous job. They really it. did. I love the bed of the truck too. Yes. The glossy wood, yep. gas tank there in the back. And this was a surprise yes. for your wife? Yes. How do you keep something like this a surprise? Well, you know, we didn't reveal it to her until she was at school. Uh huh. We pulled up, put it in the parking lot, and then when she walked out, there it was. And there was waiting for her. Okay, what's <laughs> on the other side of this? All right, this is a 57 Chevy pickup I built for my son, Max. Uh huh. He, uh, I taught him how to weld with this truck, how to, you know, basically work on cars. So, and then Darren with HRH Design Interiors, did all that. And this is, is like a root beer type color? Yes, and that's the theme of the truck is the root beer is float. It? Yes. So what we did is we tried to carry all the bubbles. Oh my gosh, yeah. Throughout everything with bird's eye maple, goes through the floors, the seats, the That interior is wall. beautiful. Yes. If that's the kid's garage, what's yes. the next garage? This is the main garage. The main garage, all right? The main garage. Oh! <laughs> Where do you even start with this? Where do you even start back here? All right, 32 Ford. All right. Big block blown, 871, dual carb. Started out as gonna be a drag car. It was ended up too nice, so when I got it, I took the cage out of it, did a nice interior in it. Now you have a lot of fun on the street. Yeah, I can tell you do, yeah. <laughs> this Mustang here, this one, is, is this the, the, set, the 75 that was yours as a kid? That's a 70, yes. Oh, it's a, a 70? 1970. Okay. Fastback. I, you know, when I had it when I was 15, rebuilt it myself with my help of my uncle and my grandfather, and then um, drove it all the way through high school. That's Brought cool. It and crashed it a few times, of course. But Okay, crashed it a few times. Now, is this also one that the guys from County Cars touched yes. up? Wow. Yep. Then Tanya surprised me by getting it out and they uh, they redid it. I love, what's the color? It's called Peg and Gold. Do you have a picture of when you first got it? Yes. Back in the day? Oh, you do? I do. Check this out. So that's it when I, when I had first redone it. I, all your cars have a story behind them. All your cars have history. Yes. And how cool is most people, they, they get their first muscle car, they fall in love with it, and they sell it, and they spend years and years chasing it. Yes. You're the opposite. You've kept it, and you've added on to your Add collection. To you got a lot of Corvettes here. Yes. Uh, the, the one right here? It's a 69 427, all original. Did you get this from Pennsylvania? Because those yes, are Pennsylvania inspection stickers. Yep. Recently then, too, 1022. Yep. So this is a recent uh, yes, acquisition. I, yep. How much? How original is this one? Uh, it's 100% original. Wow! Um, all Paint the way everything. To everything. 
Open yeah, it. yeah, go ahead. Original door buzzer. It's got the buzzer. It's got the buzzer. To yes. have the car still with the buzzer, that's that's pretty special. Are you looking, when you go out looking for cars, are you looking for something that's all original? Do you have a process when you're looking for cars? Yes, especially Corvettes. Um, I've got a couple of modifieds, but I really like the original Corvettes. Yeah, I see the silver one over here? Yeah, that's a 1964 Corvette. All original came out of an airport hangar in California. Um, got it from a nephew that he got it wheeled to him from his uncle. So I'm the second owner on that. He, uh, so this is just sitting in a hangar until you get it. Sitting in a hangar. How many miles? Uh, it's got 38,000. 38,000? Yes. All original? All original. This, all your Corvettes, all yes. your cars could be in museums. And then you spin around behind you, Lance. We have another Mustang back here. The yes. story on this one. So this was the first one me and my wife bought uh, for her. Mm -hmm. So we went to a car show. We hadn't even gotten married yet at the time. So it was the first car show. We were driving down the street. She sees a Mustang sitting on the side of the street. It wasn't in the show, it was just on the side it's of the street. on the side of the road. Had a for sale sign, so we stopped and looked at it. And she goes, man, I really like that. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna build it for you. So we built it from the ground up all the way, took it back to a concourse, like it was all original. So now this is complete numbers matching. Numbers matching. 66 Mustang. 66 Mustang convertible. That you and your wife saw on the way to a car show. Yep. Again, another great story behind yep. the cars. Yeah. This uh, started her love affair. Yeah, and we've seen her on County Cars, yes. surprising you. Yes. That's great when it's a couple that loves the cars. Because right, right. if, if you just love them and she did it, maybe having all these might right, be a little right. bit of a challenge. Exactly. This uh, Corvette back here. Yes. That's a 54 Corvette. Um, it was built in Arizona. A dear friend of mine passed away. He willed this to me. Wow. But it's a, got a Paul Newman chassis, LS3 drivetrain in it. This thing spectacular. Yeah, the color too. Bag, just cobalt blue. This thing is it's down here, Lance. Come down and get this shot from the ground because I feel like it's, yeah. it's screaming at me right now. And then behind me, <laughs> another Corvette. Yep, 58 Corvette. Um, all original besides the paint. Original paint was red. Um, so all the gauges, everything inside here is all original. Yes. I uh, didn't, there's so many red Corvettes out there. I wanted something just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So I tried to stay in the red family. So we ended up driving around and we've seen this on a Challenger. And I'm like, that's the color. That's the one. That's the one. Are you in any clubs, like the Corvette Club, Mustang Clubs? Um, I'm in a club. Uh, uh, you can start a club with all your cars. Exactly. <laughs> um, we do the Mesquite car shows yeah. twice a year and a couple of little charity ones. As you see, this is the actual workroom where I build all the this cars. This is where you're doing your work. Yes. Got my own jib crane so I can put motors in and out very easily. You're the real deal then. You're actually hands-on working yes. on these vehicles. Yes. Your latest project back My here? My latest project, 66 station wagon. Um, gonna put basically black and kind of this brown color. Nothing real spectacular. Well, what what drew you to something like this? You just you wanted to build a station wagon or someone in your family wants one? And then so we- My birth year is 66. Okay. And I, buddy of mine had this. He's like, hey, I'm selling my 66. I'm like, oh, yeah, I've never done a station wagon. So I think I'll do a station wagon. And you're gonna do it with your own little spin to it? Yes. Does this one have a theme? Um, yes. So originally I was gonna make it the cowboy chuck wagon. Uh -huh. So it's brown with black and I'm gonna take the brown hide mm -hmm. from cow hides and that's what the interior is gonna be. Okay. With the brown cow hides. And put a cow hide in the back. We'll have to come check on it when you're done with it. Okay. You built this one? Yes. This is for the youngest boy, 66 Mustang. Uh, like his mama's, but this is a hard top. It's got an 89 Mustang motor in it. And of course you knew Keith from Swing Shift. Yeah. He helped me put this in and you'll see why. So and I this wanted- This is for, for, your, for your youngest son? Youngest son, he just turned 16. Oh, what a car to turn. Whoa. <laughs> What was your car when you turned 16? What did your dad give you? I had a station wagon. It was, uh, we called it the banana boat, big old banana yellow boat. station wagon that I got to drive. Wow. But this is why I take some of the stuff to Keith. Yeah, look at that. You can tell, yeah, when it comes to, when it comes to cars in general, but the wiring, Keith is yes. the master. But it's a fuel injected A9 Mustang, GT mm -hmm. motor in it. Full power steering, AC. How much inside of this is original? Um, it's all original style interior. Mm -hmm. I recovered the seats. Um, kind of a basket case when I got it. It was uh, out of a junkyard. Yeah. 
So it had no motor. Uh, so I found a, a, a 2A9 motor. So I rebuilt it, now it's a little stroked. And who painted it? Uh, pork chop. The paint's amazing. Yeah. So if you build and work on all your cars, is this where you keep everything, your parts and everything is all right here? Oh, this is just my toolbox. Okay. So the parts are in here. Parts are in here. So you got a parts room? I have a parts department. Oh, he actually has a parts department. <laughs> with an actual shopping basket. Yes. Holy cow, dude. This is a parts store? Yes. Okay, how have you collected this stuff over the years? What's, yeah, what's the backstory this is, of the parts room? This is 20 year, five year probably plus of collecting yeah. parts and everything you need. Cause I'm a weekend warrior mm -hmm. on building the cars. So I need something here. You just can't run the store and get this stuff. So you pretty much got everything you need, whatever project you're working right. on. Come, yes. Can we walk down the main aisle here? Sure. You got parts. Oh yeah. You got these actual emblems? Yeah, that's actually old emblems and some new emblems. That is cool. And are you working on a Chevelle? I am. Oh, you are? A 69 Chevelle. So you got, okay, what else do you have for your Chevelle that you're working on? Uh, it's actually, I got the engine right here. This is a all aluminum Brodac motor. Uh, it's based off, blueprinted off a blue, uh, Pro Stock pickup truck. Uh, we're putting twin turbos on it. So and have, who's this being built for? It's being built for my daughter. Because what the, what you, every daughter deserves a Chevelle. Yeah. Well, when she was 15, I asked her if she, I wanted to build her a car. And she says, I don't want no old junk car. So now that I got all the boys' cars built, mm -hmm. now she's like, you got to build me a car. Now she wants one, right? So I'm building her a 69 Chevelle, but I'm making it very fast. She's a speed demon now uh -huh. as well. So. This is going to be fast. I just You have another motor back here as well? Yes. That's a small block Chevy, 383 stroker. This is a Jeep motor, 429 Thunderbird motor. We're doing a little intermission from looking at all these classic cars, and I have Tanya, Shane's wife. Um, first off, what do you think of the, the car collection that you guys have? Um, well, I knew I married a collector, <laughs> and um, as you can see, it runs in the family because my thing is my vintage trailers. Vintage trailers, that's <laughs> we're going to pause here and take a look at a vintage trailer. This is, I take it, a 1954? This is a 54. All right. This is a canned ham. Uh huh. And and her name is Gussie because she's all gussied up. Okay. So come on in. All right, the, come on in. The little she shed. The little she shed. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me with this? Can you fit in there, Lance? Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> this is spectacular. Whoa. So adorable. Of, yeah, a couple of the uh, little specialties here. Of course, you have to have a little coffee closet, right? Yes. Now, do you guys come back here and have coffee and breakfast and cocktails and stuff? Only I do. Oh, yeah. So this is... This is like a special invite This only. is exclusive that I'm inside um, the she shed. My girlfriends and I have been known to have a glass of wine or two out here, or if we're entertaining and having guests over or a party, we kind of do something fun out here. We'll put like a little specialty drink or, you know, some appetizers or something out here so people can come and check it out. What was this like when you got it? Um, pretty much, I had purchased it from um, a good friend of mine in Utah who, this is the seventh trailer mm -hmm. that she has redone. Um, and the reason is because I would like to get one and completely gut it and kind of do the same thing, do a full restoration just like what we do with the cars. So I purchased this one to kind of get an idea. I talk with her quite frequently about the things that need to be done and how to really Kind of take over mm -hmm. and, uh, and make it like this. So pretty much this was all done um, and just you can see the 1954 type stuff that I try to collect. Yeah, it's, and, got, that, it's got a whole 1950s vibe mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. So this one is definitely a fun one. It's it's comfy too. I don't yeah. want to leave. It's yeah. nice it's and relaxing. Cute. Yeah. And it's just, it's a great place to come out and read a book or have a cup of coffee mm -hmm. or just, you know, I'm surrounded by testosterone. Yeah. All the men in my family, all the boys in my family, all the dogs in my family are all men, so this is a great place. This to is your out. spot. And it's girly. This you is, know? It's, yeah. It's girly. So I, it's fun. But this is back in the 50s, though, so it's you know, towing this trailer. Oh, this, yeah. this is really cool. I belong to a, a women's camping club, and many of us have vintage trailers. And this one's landlocked right now. Mm -hmm. um, but we all get our trailers, we go and camp together, and do kind of activities, and hiking, and fishing, and it's really fun. As you can see, this was really designed for two people to 
share a Sorry. little, I, don't, I would call it like a twin bed yeah. or a full bed. Um, so obviously it wouldn't work for Shane and I, so. <laughs> It's a perfect size little So bed. it's just perfect for me. And you yeah. got a little refrigerator Little too. refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Stove. Stove and all sorts of, you know, storage up here. So that, that when you are, scene, yeah. yeah, when you are out and about and you're going, um, this one's camp ready. But as I say, right now it's just landlocked. We have it here. Um, and this one was just kind of a fun piece to have in the yard to enjoy. It's I look out my piece. kitchen window and... I get to see her every day. What's this one here? This one is a 58 Roadrunner. Uh -huh. And this one has a kind of Hawaiian tropical theme. So Just Shane like the cars, like do, all the yes. themes, all the trailers have yes, themes. Yes, so we like to do... After you, Lance. How cool is this? I love the tropical theme. Yeah, so it's a great place. This is a, this one's a little bit bigger. So, actually, um, I've been known to have my book clubs out here uh -huh. when it's just like five or six of us, and you know, it's a fun place to kind of just come and hang out. And I wanted it to really have a tropical kind of peaceful type feel. This one's the one that can hook up and go. And what do you So this just... one can be pulled out. This is a 58. 58. So mm -hmm. four years older. I feel like it's a little bit wider yeah. than that 54. Yep. The bed though back here, is, is this the bed or if this so, is the bed. Is so fold out? What would happen is it's almost like a futon style. Mm -hmm. So you would lift up and it comes right out to here. Okay. So you actually do have a full size bed. And then this one over here, you pop down the table mm -hmm. and these two come together so and it's fold a out. So sleeper. yeah. Yep. So, so you can you see can... just the four years between the two, though. Yeah. So my daily is a challenger, but right. this challenger puts my challenger to shame. <laughs> Whose is it? What's the backstory on it? Uh, this was built uh, by the Fatitas for the UFC. Okay. So when the fighters would come into town, they had something to drive. So they built this just with their guys to drive around? Yeah. It's got 14,000 miles, 2011. How many horsepower? Uh, I'm not sure on the horsepower. It's the SRT8. I think it was like four, what is it, 430 stock? All carbon fiber? All carbon fiber. Got this, they put the Celine kit on it. Yeah. And uh, they didn't want the name, so they pushed it out. But it's got radar jammers in here, built in radar detector. So if you're a UFC guy cruising around in this thing, you don't need to be pulled over. You need to, you know. Yeah. Can I see inside it? Sure. All custom interior. Yeah, that is. Suede, leather, carbon fiber. So, how does this fall into your collection? That's why it's in this garage. It's too new. It is. It is too new. <laughs> You'll put it in the other garage in about 20 years now. Yeah. But it's it's still it's a lot of fun to drive. Three piece carbon fiber wheels. I did notice there is a car. I think I think a car is lost. I think over here, Lance. I think <laughs> I think somehow this little smart car ended up in your collection. I don't know. Got turned around. Right. Foster child. Foster I don't know. Child. I don't know why, but this just you know one of these things is not like the other. Which one is it? It's this right here. <laughs> Unless it's got like 500 horsepower or some kind of no. wicked thing you did to it underneath the hood. So uh, kind of been on auctions, and I was uh, on an auction, and we was looking because wife wanted to do a Turo account. Uh huh. So uh, I'm like, all right, well look at this smart car. She goes, well let's put a let's uh, put a bid on it. So I put a stupid number on it, and we won and it. And you got it. <laughs> The man truly has everything. <laughs> this Camaro, 68, I noticed it from Keith's shop. Yes, uh, yes. What did he do it for you? Um, basically, we couldn't get it running. Uh -huh. I dropped the tank, it was actually a fuel pump, so Keith redid the fuel pump for me and, and had a uh, couple, actually a lifter, the was broke on it, so he fixed the lifter on it. Uh, this is a car I built for my uh, middle son, Frankie. Mm -hmm. So he's 18 now, so this is his car. <laughs> I mean, can, do you need any more sons? I'm just saying, I love my father, I love my mother. They watch every episode, but if you need to adopt right, right. A, another Las Vegas son, right. I'm here for you, my gosh. It was funny, I started this one when he was a baby. I have pictures really? of him. I'm holding him up and he's got his little hands on oh, the steering wheel. You have, we'll have to, you have to give him those, have to put those pictures in so you yeah. can see that right now. And before I, I let you go, we're doing this on a Saturday morning. I know That's you got fun. busy weekend plans. The last two right here. That's a 27 T. Uh -huh. This was built by Boyd Conkton. Um, Another dear friend of mine that had the Corvette. 
Uh, when his collection, he had 33 cars in his collection. Another inspiration of mine. But I, uh, when he passed away, I found this come up at an auction. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, just the memories of it. So but yeah, I know Boyd built that for him. And then the last one over here. This is a 33 Ford Roadster. Mm -hmm. um, very, very nice car. Actually, on Counting Cars, this is the one I picked Danny up and took him to the house. Really? This is the yes, one? This is the one we drove to my house, yeah. This has been so cool. I mean, you got garages and garages and garages right, and stuff. Right. This is great. Yeah. And then the 54 tractor, that's going to be one time I'll have to call you back. Get back that, to Dan? That's some, one another project. Endless projects. Right. Shane, thank you so much for having us. I no, truly no appreciate problem, it. No problem. Been, this has been a thrill. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. No problem. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. That's cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections. Yeah. Yeah.